Cool. So today we're going to set up your Facebook business manager. And, and as I kind of touched on on our previous calls, this is this is the foundation. This is the most important um, step that I literally have seen 100% of agents miss. Most have tried running a Facebook ad. Most have tried boosting a post. Um, very few have success. And I truly, truly believe it's because this foundation was never set up. Um, and this business manager, this is where you're able to track all the data. So, and, and really all the data is, is tracking all those that engage with your ad. In fact, open up another tab. Let me, let me show you an example real quick before we really get into it. Open up another tab, go back to Facebook real quick. Let me show you what data is um, when it comes to advertising. Here's what you get out of the business manager that you do not get any other way running an ad. And so again, most agents try to boost a post. Most agents try to run the ad through their ads manager um, which is the second way. And, and and although you can run ads that way, those two ways, boost a post or through your ads manager, those two ways are literally burning money because what it's all about when it comes to advertising on social media, 99% of it is all about tracking the data. And you can't do that when you boost a post and you cannot do that when you run it through the ads manager. You have to run it through the business manager and that's what we're gonna set up today. So when you run it through the business manager, Here's the, the data that we want to be able to start tracking. So as you scroll through your newsfeed below Lamont, like keep going through and, and, and see and, and, and scroll through until we come across a sponsored ad right here, sponsored ad. So look, right here, this person or this company, Florida House Republican Campaign Committee, what they're doing is they're not boosting a post. They're not running it just through their ads manager. And, and and to tell you the truth, I don't really know that to be a I don't know that to be a fact because I don't know how the hell they ran it. Because those are the three ways you could either you could have either boosted a post, you could have ran it to the ads manager, or you could have ran it to the business manager. Yeah. But I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and I'll say, okay, these guys know what they're doing. They ran it to the business manager. Here's what you're able to track. As you sit here and you watch, hover over the video. Don't click on it. Just hover over it. Put your cursor over the video. Uh, over, over the video bro just hover over the yeah okay this is a 15 second video 15 seconds hover over it right hover over it you're watching it one two Let's one see. three seconds four seconds five seconds the reason why it's so short is because the only objective that they had the only objective was to track the fact that you watched it mm. that's it now you can click learn more you can go over to the page in fact go ahead and do that click on learn more now you're coming off of Facebook to the page. This is data point number two. Data point number one is the fact that you watched it. Data point number two is the fact that you clicked and landed here. You may not have filled out the form, name, email, zip code, but you landed here. Mm -hmm. So those two forms of data is tracked. Me as an advertiser, I need that data point. I want to be able to leverage that data because if somebody watched my video but didn't, didn't fill out the form, I want to show them another ad. If someone clicks just like we did and they land here, I need that data because that's an interested person. Yeah, they didn't donate just yet. Yeah, they didn't fill out the form just yet, but they clicked and they live in my backyard. So I want to be able to track that data and I want to be able to show them another ad. Okay. That's what you cannot do. That, so that's the data. That's the most important data. 99% of, 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 of online advertising is about that, is simply tracking those two data points. Now, as you click on $5, $10, $50, all of the different links that are within a website are also tracked, but it's really that basic. Someone watched a video, X amount. It could have been a two-minute video, and you watched 15 seconds. You were right. tracked. You were tracked. And then, and then again, you clicked over here. You were tracked. So just those two data points alone is what you get out of the business manager. Now, as you came over here, click on action. The link at the very, very top, florida.gop. Watch, go back up to the top. Click on, action. Click, oh, on, here. click on actions. So now the link at the top, florida.gop forward slash action. I could, or not, well, yeah, I, but them, what they did is they, and again, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt that they're actually running running it the right way. Right. As you clicked on action, that link at the top, florida.gop forward slash action, is what is what Facebook calls a quote unquote custom audience. So again, through the business manager, you're able to take that link, put it in Facebook, and create an audience. 
-hmm. As I click on get involved, click on get involved, look at the link at the top. The link at the top will change. Now it says volunteer. So now I'm going to track the people who landed here. Now, again, let's say they didn't fill out the form. First name, email, phone number. They did not fill out the form. But as an advertiser, I tracked it. So now mm -hmm. what I can do is I could turn around tomorrow. Hey, guys, this is David with Florida GOP. Hey, I noticed you guys landed on our volunteer page. But for whatever reason, you didn't fill out the form. Let me kind of show you the benefits and advantages that you're going to have as you volunteer, blah, blah, blah. Right. That's a very specific message <laughs> with a very specific group of people who landed on a very specific link. Right? Sure. So all of those data points, which is basic, just links. I know what people landed on. I know what people clicked on. That's the data that we need to start collecting. So, so as you run an ad on a listing, as you run an ad on an open house, as you start just promoting your business, we want to be able to track those who are landing on different pages. Right. right. We want to be able to track those who are watching a percentage of our videos so we can show them another ad. That's what it's all about. And that's through the business manager. You can't do that through the boosting a post, through boosting a post, or through the ads manager. And I truly believe that after speaking to literally thousands of, of not even just agents, just business owners in general, because on my YouTube channel, I've spoken many people, you found me on YouTube, many other businesses, not not too many real estate agents. And I try to maybe I try to keep my real my real my YouTube channel more general. Um, not just real estate agents, but since I've been putting out videos on YouTube, many other business owners follow me and and, and reach mm -hmm. out to me and I teach the same thing to, to a local dentist or whatever. It's every business owner. I haven't found one that actually tracks all this stuff the right way. Right. So, so that's why a lot of times when you talk to, especially agents, brokers, hey, have you ever run a Facebook ad? Hey, have you tried a Facebook ad before? Many of them will say, yeah, I tried boosting a post or yeah, I run an ad, but it didn't work. And I, and I spent a lot of money and I didn't capture any leads because right. they didn't run it through the ads manager. They did not track the data. They did not retarget those people with future ads. They ran a couple ads and just, and just stopped right there. Right. I'm one of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. Everyone, everyone. So, so, so that's, those are the, the that's the main, main part, the, the real, the real gold the golden nuggets behind the business manager. You have to, because if we're spending money to get this post seen, I need to track every data point to use to my advantage in the future with, with more ads, you know, and, and especially if these are people down the street and they're watching my stuff, they're clicking on my stuff and they literally live down the street. I need to keep showing my face to them. Absolutely. Right. Or, yeah. So, so that's what we're going to do today is, is set up the business manager. So you can close up awesome. this tab, close up the Facebook, and then we'll go back to the four, uh, the business. So, so now, well, you know, not, so now I'm going to have all these Republicans coming after me now. Yeah, yeah, actually, you are. You are. You, you sure are. You're going to keep seeing those ads. I'm going to show you another ad for sure. It, it, uh, it's every, every, on every business <laughs> when they're running ads the right way. So, but it's all, it's all good. So, so over here to the left, we're gonna we're gonna just work our way left on, on the left hand side from top to bottom. There's just a few a few tabs here that that we got to fill out, um, and this is bookmark number one, the business settings. So um, the next one down, um, actually, I can see your pages is already saved. Your Instagram account is already is already saved. Click on um, ad accounts. Let's click on the ad accounts. In fact, your ad account is already there. Um, and what we want to do too is we want to name. You see how the ad account the name is Derek the Realtor. Derek the yeah, realtor yeah. and then me. and then to the very very left you have Derek Diaz yes what we want to do is we want to shoot for the same name for everything okay so so whatever that what what was the name that we went with Derek Diaz realtor Derek Diaz realtor so let's go ahead and, and 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 let's start here let's start with um the ad account hit the three dots on the on the right hand side to the right the three dots and then just click on edit those uh, three dots to the right here the left Right there, those three dots. This one? Yeah, bro, the three dots. All right. Okay, so now click on edit, and let's just rename it. Let's re we're going to name everything the same. So, so um, yeah, let's let's just um, yeah, Derek. What was it, De Derek the realtor? Derek Diaz realtor. Derek, Derek, Derek Diaz. Yeah, Derek Diaz realtor. Okay, we're we're rocking with that name for all of the listing, all the title. Right, which one? The, my business. Yeah, my business. Yeah. So save changes. So Derek Diaz realtor. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to also rename the name to the very, very left. We're going to rename that as well. Okay. So, so um, not, not yet. We're going to, we're, oh. we're, 
So, so now what we want to do is bookmark this page. This is your ad account. This is where the credit card is going to be tied to. But the reason why I'm going to have you bookmark it, so hit the star in the top right, and then just make sure it's in that folder. So it's in the it's in the business settings, which we're going to rename business settings. It's not the folder. So so go ahead and delete that top part, number four, business settings. Yeah, this is ad accounts, ad accounts. But the folder name, we're going to rename that folder. Um, but we'll do that. We'll do that after. So this is ad accounts. The reason why I have you bookmark this is because this is kind of the most important. Um, if you ever need to reach out to Facebook for whatever reason, um, the first question they hit done, click done. The first question they really ask is what is your ad account ID number? So if you're trying to get to the bottom of, of why an ad was rejected or why, why there was a charge on your credit card or whatever, like normally those are the only reasons why you'll even reach out to Facebook. Um, 99.999% of every single question you'll ever have on this platform, that's what I'm here for. You'll always be able to reach out to me and all. And, and majority of the time, I'll have the answer and I'll be able to, to solve it. But every now and then, every now and then, something random will happen. And I'm like, shit, bro, I don't know what the hell is going on. You're going to have to email Facebook. Mm -hmm. And in that case, again, the first thing they want to know is what is the ad account ID number? And that's the number at the top, 738-689, that blue number at the top. So and that's that that number is oh, at account is just the so if there's different ads it doesn't matter so this is the ID number yeah so, that's yeah that's the ID number you're gonna run many many ads out of that ad account which is tied to to one credit card for example okay. all right okay so so that's your ad account ID number or your ad account so now to the left let's click on um, data sources let's go to data sources and let's see what else we got down there um, just click on yeah so now we're gonna click on pixels. Um, the pixel is what goes on a website. So that's mm -hmm. why when you clicked on that ad, the Republican GOP, you clicked, you went over to their website. The reason why they're able to track the visit is because they had their pixel on the page. Mm -hmm. So the pixel is a piece of code that Facebook, that we all have. Facebook mm -hmm. gives you a piece of code, your pixel that you put on your website. And that's what allows Facebook to start tracking. So here we can at least somewhat set it up. Um, but we got to figure out what pages we're going to put it on. Um, and we'll do that later on. But go ahead and at least preset it, preset it up, and then um, and then we can at least just have it here for the time being. So click on add. add. Yep, okay. click on add. And we're going with the same name for everything. So delete that. Derek Diaz Derek Diaz Pixel. Yeah. So just put Derek Diaz Realtor. Perfect. Um, and then continue. And no website needed. So just continue. Okay, cool. So now. Um, go ahead and set up the pixel now. We'll just um, go through as far as we can um, and then manually add pixel code. And then hover over this long code. Click. Is it right click, bro? Or click? What? No, left click. Just click. Oh, left sorry. click. Okay, perfect. Now scroll down to number two. No, wait, wait. Yeah, scroll down to number two and then turn on. So turn that on. Oh, that's blue. Okay, cool. So Facebook's tracking everything about that visitor. Um, and then continue. Okay, cool. So now, um, and then and then cancel. So we're good. So now here's what I want you to do just for the hell of it. Um, add people. So go ahead and add, click on add people and you'll see your name and you'll just uh, click on the circle. So to the right, add people. Oh, here? Here? To the right, bro. To the right, add people. Oh, here, okay. Yeah, so click on your name right there, Derek Diaz, and then full control. So shade that gray to blue, full control, and then assign. Okay, cool. Assign. Okay, so for the hell of it, here's what I want you to do. Just click on done. Open up another. Actually, you have your email already open. Coaching call in one hour. So email it to yourself. That's your Facebook pixel. Now, you'll always be able to come back here to your Facebook pixel because that's going to be a bookmark that we have. But you'll have it here as well. So just email it to yourself. Um, paste it in right there. That is your Facebook pixel. Um, so in the future, if you ever create a website, which you don't need, but... Um, landing pages is what you're going to is what you're going to for sure need landing pages um that's your pixel so if anybody creates a page for you in the future that's your pixel all right i'll so send it to them and say hey man here's my pixel put it on my page and and they'll know exactly what to do awesome. Awesome. so um so now let's go back to the business settings and then and then what we'll do now we're not going to bookmark it from here um and that red dot at the top that will turn green when you actually put it on a page Right. So it's not on a page and that's why it's not it's not fully active. And that, that's fine for now. Um, so now left hand side, we're going to keep going down um, brand safety. Let's click on brand safety. 
brand safety is this is a newer a newer setting within Facebook. I would say probably within the past maybe six months, seven months, where now if you're running ads, you have to be running it to a website where you own the dot com, mm -hmm. right? So so a lot of times agents will will prior, but let's just call it seven months ago prior, an agent would be able to run an a, a, an ad to their Keller Williams website. And 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 their Keller Williams website. If you go to any if you go to any real estate agent that's with these big box these big box brokers like a Keller Williams or a Coldwell or a Realty One, those brokers normally give their agents these websites, right? Replicate websites. Every agent in the freaking company has the same damn website, right? It just has their headshot and freaking it's their name on the link, but it's the same damn website. That's a cookie cutter replicated website that that every agent has in that company, for example. The website may be somewhat – actually, the website's not even yours. It's Coldwell's, but mm -hmm. it has your picture on it. It has your contact information on it. Yeah, it might have your listings on it, but it's not your website. It's Coldwell's, and the link at the top would be – and it's on every website. You can look at every every website in, in any company of these guys. If you go to the website, it's it's something like David davidcantero.kw.com, mm -hmm. right? That's the actual domain. And although I can go out there and get davidcantero.com and just go into GoDaddy and have it forward, just like we did with yours, mm -hmm. just like we did with yours, but the link, yeah, the domain, it's forwarding, but it's not my domain. It's 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 mm -hmm. my domain, my .com, but it's going to a website where I can't change that name. All I can do is forward it. Right. You have to nowadays send it to a, a, a website where you can completely change the link, where that link is yours. No matter what I click on on the page, that's your .com. And so that's, again, that's a newer update within Facebook, and now you have to integrate it. Now you have to let Facebook know, okay, here's my .com, and to even prove it, Facebook gives us a piece of code, so click on domains. Facebook gives us a piece of code that we have to go and integrate inside of GoDaddy. So that's how we really prove it is that we get this piece of code. So create a new domain, type in your domain right there. And then what we're going to do, no www. Yeah, just the, just the name. Perfect. Derek Diaz Um, We're going to click on add, and then we're going to open up another tab and go to GoDaddy. So this is where we, we prove to Facebook that this is our domain. So open up another tab and let's just go to GoDaddy um, where you purchased it. Okay, so now we have our domain right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on DNS. So right there to the right of the domain, click on DNS. Here? Yeah, DNS. Okay, so now, now we're going to simply add what, what GoDaddy calls a record, a DNS record. So go back to the business setting tab, the number four right at the top. And then now what we're going to do here is we're going to follow. First, we're going to hit the drop down. So hit that add a meta tag, hit that drop down. We're coming down to the third one. So updated DNS text. So we're going to follow instruction number two. Um, hover over the, yeah, click, click, copy it. Perfect. So now we're going to take this piece of code that this link that Facebook gives us, and we're going to integrate it with, with the domain with GoDaddy. So, so go over here and click on add. You're going to click on the, the black add button. And then the type to the left, the drop down, it's TXT. So find the TXT. The name is the at symbol. So shift to the at um, and then the value paste in that link. No, 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 bro. The value, the value. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, cool. Now add record. Okay, good. So that, that right there is telling GoDaddy that Facebook is going to start tracking this domain. Um, so close out GoDaddy. We don't need GoDaddy. We're a success. We're good. We don't need this one no more. So now this takes a, this this takes up to a few minutes to verify, but sometimes it happens quick. Um, click verify. Click it a few times if it doesn't happen right away. Click it. Click it again. Just keep clicking it. Perfect. We're good. So done. And now what we want to do um, is simply see if there's any assets that we want to connect, that we need to connect to the domain. So click on add assets right there in the middle. Add assets, and I think you got to connect it to your yeah to your page. So right there to the left, classic pages. Click on classic pages, and then click on this one right here, the circle. Perfect, and then add. Okay, so all we're doing is we're telling Facebook this is our domain. This is the one we're going to be running ads to, and the ads are going to be coming from this page. Okay, so that's what we just did there. So now, now we're going to scroll down the left hand side. We're going to keep going. We're going to go down to business info right there at the bottom, and this is what we're going to update. So. 
we're going to hit edit right at the top right. We're going to start at the top, edit, and then we're going to rename it Derek Diaz Realtor. And space it out like you did right there, just like you did. Just, just add Realtor at the end, actually. Derek oh. Diaz Realtor. Yeah, so space it out, capital R. Perfect. And then, um, and then the primary page, click in there and type in your name. And you'll see the drop down. Always go with the drop down. There's a drop down. Click on save. And then refresh this page and you'll see your profile picture right there. So now, um, now we're really legit. This part right here, this business info setting is, 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 is a lot of times this is why ads get rejected or ad accounts get disabled because none of this information was filled out. So you want to definitely fill out all this. And this is in the business name is my name or the Derek, Derek, Derek D is realtor, Derek oh. D is realtor. Just like you wrote it to the left, all right. actually capital D capital D capital, oh, okay. just like you wrote it to the left. So this right here, put in all your legit information because no one sees this. Um, no one sees this, but but you and in Facebook. So um, yeah, you can put on your all your information. The only thing you don't need is the tax ID. So don't worry about putting that. Um, just fill in all the rest. So now scroll down. Um, we don't need to verify the business right there. That's for that's for physical products if you're selling products. Um, so we don't need we don't need that. So scroll down, scroll down. My info here at the bottom. Yeah, this right here is super, super important is the email, my info. So edit that. Um, and this is, again, another reason why ads, ad accounts will get disabled is what Facebook calls it, where it's just shut down because this email was never verified. So the most important thing on every platform, doesn't matter which one it is, on every platform is knowing which email is on file. Um, you can always forget your password, but but try not to ever forget what email was on file. Um, so that's the one we got on file. And then what Facebook's going to do here in the next few seconds, once you actually save it, is they're going to email you and you need to click on that email. Perfect. So confirm now. And now we'll work out of this tab. So close out that tab to the right for business settings to the right. Close out that one. Now we're going to work out of this one. Perfect. So now we're good. Now we're good. The entire business settings back here was was what what I call optimized. It was all filled in, right? Everybody's account is empty and blank. So that was super, super important is filling out the details, verifying the email, and then setting up the ad account, setting up the domain. And then um, and then and then um, what else did we just do right now? We got the domain and then we got the pixel right here. So we're good here. We're good here. So now let's let's keep it pushing. Click the three lines at the top left. And now let's go to, we can go to anything. Now we can go to ads manager. Let's go to ads manager. So now from this point on, you'll be running ads out of the new ad account right here. Click on no at the top left. You'll be running ads out of this new ad account. The new ad account, click on no, no. No, oh, no. Okay. That you said new, so I was like, yeah. "Where's new?" So, so now you can see there in the top left, the drop down, Derek Diaz Realtor. That's the ad account that we just set up seven three eight six eight nine. So, we're, so as we click on that green button in the future and run an ad, it's coming from that account, right? That's the account we just set up, um, and then we're gonna have to tie a card to that, a credit card to that, to that account if if there's not one already. But we'll we'll double check. Mm -hmm. So, so now this becomes a bookmark. So hit the star in the top right. This is Ads Manager. So now what will be, yeah, delete all that ads manager, ads manager. So yeah, so from this point on, this is where you'll be running ads out of. And, and, and now we're gonna have the ability to track all the data as we go and set up everything else. So we're good there. So now three lines to the left and let's go to, let's go to, let's see what else, let's go to billing. We'll go to billing. Um, over here, it'll take you to the billing and then we're gonna click on um, payment settings right here in the top right. So click on payment settings and now let's bookmark it from here. So hit the star in the top right and um, and just um, call this one billing. This is billing, billing. So here is where you'll add a card. You can always switch out the card. Um, scroll down to the business info. Let's fill this in real quick. So click on edit and let's get, let's get all the information over here as well. Uh, business name, just go to exactly how you did it before. Yeah, capital, capital D, capital D capital D and then capital R. So just space everything out. Okay, so now we're gonna click on the three lines to the left and we have we just have a few more bookmarks. So we're gonna click on the three lines and now let's go to audiences. Audiences, again, as I mentioned earlier, is what 99% of online advertising is all about, is the audiences. Tracking those who watched your video, tracking those who clicked on your website. It's all about the audiences. So um, 
we don't have any videos just yet. We don't have a website or you have your website, but we're not going to, we're not going to track that one. Um, so what we can do is we can at least track, we can at least just set up a quick custom audience based on, on your Facebook page. So click on the first one, create a custom audience. And then these are all the different sources, um, just different data points that you could create an, uh, an audience around website, customer list, app activity, um, video lead form. So there's all these different places, but, um, an Instagram account, but unless you're building a nationwide brand or a global brand, I really wouldn't do an Instagram account, track those who, 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 who engage with your Instagram, because those are going to be people all over the place. Right. Mm -hmm. So just like you and I, like if, if you created a, an audience around your Instagram account, I'm going to be in that audience. And so when you run an ad to that audience on your listener mm -hmm. open house, it's showing it to me. Mm -hmm. I see. You know what I mean? So we don't want to do that, but Facebook page, it allows us to at least somewhat micro niche watch click on facebook page and this is not exactly an audience that will even run ads to in the future but i want you to do that click on next i want you to do this one just so we can at least bookmark this page there's that name i guess it's still like, remember we try to delete that whatever yeah it'll delete it'll delete in 14 days it'll be it'll oh. be gone soon so hit the drop down and go to the other one um I can see this where i don't know there yeah you'll see yeah click on it you'll see it there so go ahead and click on that one yep perfect and then and then the events Everyone who engaged with your page, we don't want that one. Click on the drop down, and come down to the fourth one down. People who engaged with any post or ad. So that's somewhat of a better audience to, to create. But again, it's not really an audience we'll be running ads to. I just want you to, to do this one just for the example. Um, and then the retention, the retention, the 365. Bring that down to, bring that down to 30 days. 30 days. Facebook will will keep anyone who has engaged in the past 30 days in this audience. And then the audience name is the same as the event. So the audience name right at the bottom, people who engaged with any post or ad. And then, and then we'll just create audience. Okay, cool. So once we create audience, we'll then, we'll then just bookmark it um, from, from here. Yeah, people who engaged with any post or ad. Okay, cool. Oops. Okay, perfect. So create audience in the blue one. And then now it'll open up and we'll see our first audience click on done. And so now this is what it's all about. We just want to keep stacking these audiences. I want one on video, one on website. Like we're going to keep just laying it down, these audiences. Um, so then you come back and then when you do another ad, you, it's yes. already all these labels are here. And then you just click, clicked on the ones who, where you want it to go, right? Or yes. I guess. yes, you got it. You got it. You got it. So let's hit the star on the top, right? This is a bookmark. This is custom audiences, custom audiences. And we'll leave it in that folder. Custom audiences. We'll click on done and we're good. And so now we'll click on, we'll click on the three lines again to the left. And then we'll go to, now let's go to events manager, events manager. So over here is where your pixel is at. Um, it's where your custom conversion is at, which is what I'll explain. Um, and this is where, yeah, we'll bookmark these two. So to the very, very left, let's actually you know what to the, to the top, right. Click on that drop down the top, right. And click on the one with your picture. You'll see it here at the top. Yeah. Click on that. Go to your picture one. Okay, cool. So here is where we'll just we'll just bookmark a, a few things or a couple things. So to the very very left, hover over that blue um, circle. Let's see the blue circle real quick to the left. Click on that one and then click on click on data sources. Okay, perfect. So this is where once we once we connect the pixel to um to a web page, once we install it on a web page, then this will, this page will look a little different and you'll see your actual pixel. But until then, let's just bookmark it for now. So hit the star in the top in the top right, and this is Pixel, P I X E L, Pixel. And again, this is what it's all about, man. This is what it's all about. Many, many times, many, many times, I would say, I would say, oh shit, a hundred percent of the time. Actually, no, I won't say a hundred. Ninety nine point nine, ninety nine point nine, ninety nine point nine percent of the time, every single website that a real estate agent has from their broker. Right. Even you, you got this website from your broker, right? 99.9% mm -hmm. .9 of the time. That website will have the broker's pixel. So if I'm with KW, if I'm with EXP, if I'm with Coldwell and they give me a fancy website and now I'm thinking I'm badass, I got a website, go to my website, blah, blah, blah. Right. It's like dude, all the traffic that I'm sending to the website, it's Coldwell 
It's them who has the pixel mm. tracking that visit. Mm. So it's like, dude, you're out here promoting, not you, but just in general, mm -hmm. people, agents are out here promoting the shit out of their website and not tracking any of that data because it's not their pixel that's on the Coldwell website. It's freaking Coldwell's. Right. I see that 99.9% .9 of the time. So from this point on, we're not running ads to a fancy website. We're going to have our own web pages where we can put our pixel on that page and track all the data. Um, so, so once we do that, then we'll come back here and this, this page will look a little different. And this is where you'll actually be able to get your pixel in the future, but you also email it to yourself. So you can, you have it there as well, um, on, in your email, but this is, this is for sure, um, an important tab, your pixel. So now to the left, the left hover over the blue triangle and our last one, I think this is our last one, custom conversions, custom conversions. This will look a little different once we actually set up a custom conversion, um, but go to name it now, custom conversion. And let me explain what a custom conversion is as well, because this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. This is where everybody everybody drops the ball. Everybody drops the ball on so many different things, but this is one huge, one huge ball drop. Go back to the post attendee Zoom, that tab that's open, post attendee Zoom. Just click on that one and go to Facebook from here. So just type in Facebook at the top. Facebook and just go back to your Facebook. Here on the thing? Yep. yep, just Facebook. Just type in Facebook and hit enter right there, enter. So go to the news feed, and I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to kind of explain what a, what a custom conversion is. Click on either your home. So this is your profile, right? This is your, your profile. Always go to the news feed. So click on the home. And that's where you see everybody's drama and everybody everybody's shit that they're posting, right? Ricky, all this, all this is where all your friends are posting, right? In the newsfeed. So as right. you scroll down, as you scroll down, let's find an ad. So as we go down right here, the ad. Okay. So scroll back up. This having love trouble, having having love troubles, get your first reading for just one one dollar a minute. With this <laughs> ad right here, what do you think the objective is? Now we got the text, we got a 16 second video. We have a button at the bottom, learn more. You get one answer and it's not a, it's not a, it's not really a trick question. And there's really, well, there is a right and wrong answer, but just whatever the hell you're, whatever the hell comes out of your, comes to, to, comes to your mind, you get one answer. Here's the question. What do you think the objective is of this ad? I, I would say, to, you know, lead generation. Okay. It's lead generation. So if you click on that button, click on learn more. You're coming off of Facebook to a page, and this is a horrible page. These people, <laughs> California physics, and not really the way it looks. Not I'm not just clowning the aesthetics of it. There's so much info. It's so much shit, bro. So it's mm. like, dude, they just spent a ton of money on this ad to get people to click and come over here. Now, one strategy, because as I come over here, now I'm freaking confused. There's all this shit going on. But let me still give them the benefit of the doubt and let me just say, okay, they still know what they're doing. One strategy and one advantage and one benefit, if they're running the ad through the business manager, which I'll say they are, the reason why they had you come here and see all this shit simply so they can track your visit. That was it. They knew that they were probably bringing you to a fancy ass website where there's a bunch of shit going on and they're probably and, and they're not even going to get a lead out of it. Maybe getting a lead it was not their objective. Mm. Maybe their only objective was to capture the visitor, was to capture mm. the data of the visit. Right. So the fact that you landed here, two things that are being tracked. The pixel is on the page. The link at the top, CaliforniaPsychics.com forward slash psychic dash readings. That link is a custom audience. Mm -hmm. So maybe their only objective was to get you to click and land on the page. That was it. They tracked the fact that you landed there. Now they're going to turn around and show you another ad. Okay. Because, because this is definitely not a lead page. It's not even a purchase page. Right. As people land here, they're clicking on horoscopes. They're clicking on blog. They're clicking on pricing, how it works. They're all over the place and then they leave. Right. So they for sure are not capturing a lead. They for sure are not are not capturing that dollar for the for the first minute or whatever whatever their promo was. They're for sure not capturing that by bringing people to a page like this. But if as long as they have their tracking in place, they're tracking the link. The Facebook pixel is on the page. Then they can use that data to leverage and show you another ad. 
This is the only mm-hmm. reason why. Um, um, but let, let's look at it. Yeah, because this is definitely not a conversion page at all. They're not getting a lead from this and they're not getting anyone to buy by bringing someone here. Let's look at a different ad real quick. Go back to the Facebook. Let's see if we can click on, let's see if we can find like a, not a big box brand or business. Let's see if we can find like an individual, like a Tom Ferry or a Grant Cardone running, running an ad to you or some type of real estate trainer running an ad. Like, let's see if we can find an individual. That's more of a brand, Seven Corners Travel Insurance. That's more of a brand. Let's see if we can find like just a, a random person um, running the ad. So LinkedIn, another, yeah, just keep going, keep going. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can find one. And if you can't find one on your site, I'll I'll definitely show one, show you one on mine. Um, Nice job. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. These are just big brands running ads to you, running ads to you. Um, Stop, share real quick. And let me, let me share my screen. Oh, here's a perfect example. An ad, a sponsored post coming from an actual individual, right? A trainer, a marketer. I see right? An actual individual. So here was the original question. What is the objective with this ad? Is it to get me to read the post? Is it to get me to click on the button? Like what exactly do you think the objective is of this ad? You get one answer. Click on the post. Okay. 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 So that's what, that's what everyone would say. That's what everyone will say. When it comes to Facebook ads, Facebook ads is 1000% specific. So if we went into the, into the campaign and we went to go set up an ad and I said, okay, D what's the objective? Okay, David, I got this open house ad. I got this listing ad. I want to get people to click. That's what you said. It was to get them to click. You get one answer, right? So here's what happens. You said it was to get people to click. As I click, on the ad, I come over here. He's bringing me to a Facebook Messenger. This is a different strategy, but it's the same click. So what's going to happen $300 later? Hmm. Facebook is going to show you the metrics, and Facebook is going to say, okay, you had 15,000 people that clicked. Not one lead came in. Right. You wanted people to click. Right, right. Right. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I figured that's, but I would want, I'm always going to want the, my answer would always be the lead generator. Oh, so answer. that's a different answer. That's yeah, answer. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking like that kid, but maybe yeah, um, that's but a my answer, answer would always be, a, you know, I, at the end of this thing, I want a name and email and I want to be able to follow up with that, somebody. That's a different answer than getting somebody to. Click. Absolutely, absolutely, right? absolutely. That's yeah, a different I, answer. I, so let me, I, one other ad. So let's see. Okay, so we had two answers there. One answer was to get them to click. One answer was to generate the lead. Generate the lead is obviously our our objective. Like we're trying to generate the lead. Here's the custom conversion. Let's see if this person's taking me to an actual page. That last ad was taking me to Facebook Messenger. As I click, they're bringing me off of Facebook to a landing page. This is a perfect example. This is the custom conversion. So here's, here's how the custom conversion works. Again, specific, specific. We're telling Facebook that we're running this ad to generate a lead. So here's what has to happen. This is the custom conversion. As I click on the ad and I come over to the page, his objective is to capture a lead. That's the custom conversion. So here's what has to be set up. Uh As I come here, I land on this page. He's telling Facebook that, again, the objective is not to get people to click. The objective is to generate a lead. So in order to make that happen, look what happens. I click on the button. I enter my name and an email, and I land. I enter my name and email. It's two pages, just like I showed you guys in the past. It's mm-hmm. two pages. It's two pages. That's page number one. As I fill out the form, I'm going to land on page number two. That is it. And it's the same with real estate. If I'm if I'm running an ad on a listing. I'm, I'm having them click. They're coming over to page one. They're entering their information. They're entering their information. Uh-huh. They're coming over to page two. Same thing with this guy. As I come over to his page one, I click the button. I'm entering my name and email. I click the button. I land on page two. It's the same thing, two pages. So here's the custom conversion. My objective was to capture a lead. 
So I have to tell Facebook about this page. This link of my page, this link is my custom conversion. Right. So as I go and run my ad, I'm telling Facebook about this link. Yes, when they click on learn more, yes, they're going to page one. But my objective is to get them to page two. Facebook needs to know that. So yeah. most people will run an ad and just put the just put the learn more and and, and send people to, to page one. And that's it. When, pay, when Facebook, okay, well, shit, if your objective was to get them to click, we gave you what you wanted. Don't get pissed because you spent 450 and you didn't get no leads. You told us that you just wanted people to click. Well, then shit, everyone clicked and landed on page one. Right. You never told them about page two. Right. That's the most important page. So that is our custom conversion. So that's why when it comes to web pages, we need to be able to customize this link at the top. Um. We got to be able to put our pixel. So look, this I have this pixel tracker right here at the top of my of my screen. Mm -hmm. so I know who has their pixel on me, um, and I don't have it for that reason. I don't give a damn who's pixeling me. Everyone's pixeling us nowadays. If you have a website and you know at least something about marketing or something about about Facebook at all, you may not be running ads, but you have your pixel on it. And so that's why that's why Facebook has so much data on everybody. Because the majority of people that are building websites today, whether it's a landing page, whether it's a website, whatever, the majority of people that have some type of internet presence today with a website, they have their pixel on it. Hmm. So if you have your pixel on that on that website, okay, well then shit, that's how Facebook getting all the damn data. Hmm. They they know everything that people's clicking on mm -hmm. because, no, no. because pixels aren't pixels aren't everyone's website nowadays, hmm. right? But every now and then you'll come across a website that doesn't have a pixel. So, so I don't have it here for to to know who the hell's pixeling me. I don't care. Like I have this thing, this little thing at the top just to test my pages to make sure that when I put my pixel on my page, I can make sure it's set up correctly. So I have that little this is what is this this is what Facebook calls a Facebook pixel Facebook pixel helper. It's just a, a free plugin that you could put here at the top and and you can see everyone's pixel. Mm. So here I can clearly see that this guy's pixeling me and this guy is a G. Like I'll give him the benefit of the doubt again. This guy knows what the hell he's doing. And the reason why I assume that or the reason why I say that is because he doesn't just have one pixel tracking me. He has freaking two. Mm -hmm. So so he and, and why would it be two? Just what would it, you know, like when you say he's got two of the very, the, very the different good question. Very good question. Cause as you really scale up your ads, and and this is for people that are that are in real estate, you're going to be targeting your local area. You're, you're mm -hmm. not going to scale up your ads too, too high. When it, when it's all said and done, you could be spending, you could be spending 25 bucks a day, which might sound a, like a lot, but we're not going to start there. We'll start at 10 bucks a day or whatever, like something mm -hmm. low. But as you scale up, you start to get a deal, you close a deal and you're like, holy shit, this is freaking mm -hmm. working. And you scale up to 15 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day, 25 bucks a day. That's kind of as high as you'll scale up because you're only targeting your local area. Right. So, so you can only, there's only so many people in Miami, right? Mm -hmm. But for those of us that are real marketers that are actually, we provide a product that maybe we're targeting the whole country like me, mm -hmm. I'm targeting mm -hmm. agents in every, in, not in every country, yeah. I'm targeting agents all across the country. I'm targeting agents in Canada. I'm targeting agents in freaking the United Kingdom, right? right. So I'm able to track, I'm able to target kind of almost damn near worldwide, wherever there's a real estate agent. So people like me, marketers like me, we have just other accounts. We have other Facebook pixels. We have other ad accounts. We have other custom audiences. We have other just we have other accounts where we where we're not just collecting the data in one account. I'm also backing myself up, and I'm and I'm collecting that data in another account. Right. So it's just like a backup. It's like having it's like having it's like having a backup. It's like a, it's like your spare key. All right, yeah. I got you. All right, Cause, but but it ultimately, just you know, silly question. You know, I don't want to tell no, you. Silly it, question. No, it's um ultimately one pixel is enough for all the tracking of anything or right. Oh, what just, you guys are gonna be doing yes locally okay. yes. What you guys are gonna be doing yes. That's that's one pixel all you need. Yeah, for sure. This is just for for those of us that have products that we're marketing across the country or around the world. And 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 really, to tell you the truth, one pixel is enough. But but as you really scale up your ads, right? I get it now. And what I, yeah, what I mean, yeah, yeah. So you'll just have, people will have more than one pixel. So, um, so again, his pixels on it. The link is set up as a custom conversion. Just simply telling Facebook that that this is the most important link. There, there's two things that this link is set up under, and this is the full link right here, all the way up to the question mark. 
That's his link, fivebooklaunch.com forward slash thank you. That's the full link of the thank you page, two pages. This is the second page. So that link at the top would be your custom conversion. And that link at the top would be your custom audience. Right. So, so now I could tell Facebook, everyone who landed here, the custom conversion, yeah, that was one thing. But now custom audience. I'm telling Facebook, everyone who landed here was a lead. So now Facebook is tracking all the visits that land here, putting them in the custom audience. And now as I go run more ads, I can now exclude this audience from seeing my ad. Yeah, that they already had reached that phase already, right. They already reached the phase. They've already opted in. They're already a lead. So they don't right, need- right, right, right. You don't need to uh, three different contact, you know, of the same contact. Yeah, know? we don't need to keep seeing, they don't need to keep seeing our ads. So this guy, the author, I just opted in. I should not see his ads anymore or her ads or whoever it is. I should not see their ads anymore because I already opted in. Right. So so they have me in an audience. And when they go set up each ad from this point on, they can simply click. But, but let me ask you, that. is it common that people will then exclude or do you think people just continue and continue? Or, or I mean, are you saying that the right thing to do is actually exclude those people? But do, do, is it common that people don't even realize that and they just keep retarding? Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Even the best of the best. Like I like I have coaches that I spend I spend thousands of dollars on, man. Like I have like that's how I know this shit. Like you asked me before. Right. I, all this shit Like. I just been doing it for a while, but I hired the best of the best. That's why. So it's not, I don't get all the credit at all. Like I have mentors, I have coaches, just like. Awesome, bro. Good to them. So that's why, that's why I really learned all this from. I spent thousands of dollars in the past four years alone on courses, on coaches, um, learning Facebook ads and learning web pages. So, 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 but, but what I'm trying to say is that even the best of the best, I'll buy their shit. I'll drop five grand on someone's coaching program. And then a week later, I see the same ad. I'm like, bro, right. what the fuck? I'm like, dude, like, you're supposed to be my mentor. Like, why? No, yeah, you that's what I mean. It happened off. It didn't happen with all my coaches, but it happened with one, with one. And and, 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 and it happened with one where I bought his shit. I spent like a grand, bought his course, Facebook ads. And, and this is a top, top marketer. This guy crushes it. Um, but then I kept seeing his ad for like the next two weeks. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Like, I at least know this basic shit. You need to be excited. I should not be seeing this ad anymore. I already mm-hmm. bought your stuff. And and all that's doing is not it's not really annoying me, but it, but it but to him to the advertiser, he's simply spending more money than he needs to. I understood that part there, a hundred percent. Right. So so that's why the excluding of these audiences are so important. So so that was a custom conversion. You got you got to just tell Facebook about the most important page, and the most important page is the thank you page. So um so <laughs> so let me stop share share your screen really quick, and then and let's see what we got here. We got um. Let's go to your bookmark folder. So, so the three dots in the top right, and let's see what we got. We got um, we got bookmarks, and then we got business settings, ad accounts, ad manager, billing, custom audiences, pixel, and custom conversions. That's it, bro. Those are the top seven. You won't have to click on anything else from this point on when it comes to running a Facebook ad or running an Instagram ad. From this point on, all we're going to do is focus on these seven and fill in these four, these, these, these seven. We're going to fill in the custom conversion with our thank you page. We're going to take the pixel, put it on our website. We're going to create custom audiences around videos and website. Our billing is where our credit card is. We're running ads through the ads manager. The ad account is the ad account. The business settings is where all the other, all the other settings were at. That's mm-hmm. it. And when we do an ad, it, you, you, you're tapping into all those bookmarks. It's not like I'm just going into ads manager. I'm obviously, you know, th- there's a process. Click, manager. Click, click on ads manager. Yeah, it is. It is It is where you're just clicking on ads manager and then boom, right here, you're going to click on the green button and run the next ad. And, and that's where we were. We were that's it. We're just running ads from, from here, hitting the green button, boom, run the ad. And 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 this and the odds the audiences that's all in this same thing the selecting of the audiences is all within this um, bookmark. It's all right here. So as we click on the green button, we go and set up the ad right there on step two, which is the ad set tab. That's where you can tell Facebook, hey, I want to include these audiences in my targeting. Oh, okay, okay. I want to exclude these audiences. Watch. In fact, go ahead and click the green button real quick. I'll show you real quick, and then I got to jump off. Um, so as you click on the green, and as we come in here, and let's just say conversions. Let's go conversions. Um, let's just run through it just for the for the example conversions, um, and and we would go conversions after we set up our custom conversion after we tell Facebook about the thank you page about the second page, 
that's when we go conversions. Click continue. As you come over here to step one, you're going to go um, special ad category, hit the drop down, go to housing. You'll always go to housing. Um, and that's step one. And then now hit next. As you come to step two, which is the ad set level, this level is where we choose the targeting. We choose the budget. We put the calendar. Right. I remember. Here. So now as you scroll down, scroll down right here, audiences, up, little up, audiences, a little higher, a little higher, right here, custom audiences. So you would click. In fact, click. You'll see your, your first audience right there. Click inside the box. No, no, no. Inside the box, search existing audiences, search existing audiences. Oh. Click. So right oh, there, I see, I boom, see, I see. there's your first audience. I, I can run this ad and target that audience, or I can run this ad, click away from the, from the drop down, click away. Or as I run this audience, I can exclude. If I click oh, on exclude, okay. then I would exclude. I would type in, I would just click and I'll find my audiences that I want to exclude. Who would I exclude? Those who landed on the thank you page. Those who are leads. That's the audience. I would have that set up. And that's the audience that I would I would start to exclude. Okay. Right. So so as you as you start running ads on listings or open houses or or even promoting a seller. Yeah, man. Because I bro, I, I got that. You know, I need. You know, I'm dying to get to that city because man, I got that million dollar list is sitting there. I got that, well, we're, that we're, we're, the house in the Sebring, and all these days it just man, I can't well, wait to get to that point because I I'm hoping that maybe well, with one quick ad something happens. To well, me well, it's not it's not that quick. That's the thing. Everybody, no, I know, I know, I know. It's not. I know. Well, it's here's not. the deal. Here's the deal. What makes it not quick is the fact that we have to go set up our page. Page. Right, so right, right. People right. see your ad and they click. They're coming off of Facebook to a page. Right, the landing and, and, the, and the thank you thing. Right, right. Yeah, so that's our next call is cool. figure out what software we're going to use for these pages. Yeah, man. Just I gotta get the I gotta get an offer in those one of those houses so so that I can do more with you, bro. Yeah, you know I mean? for sure. Bro, so, for sure. I, I'm so far so good, bro. Yeah, awesome. So that's that's how you set up a Facebook business manager in 2022 and beyond, man. Any questions on that whatsoever? Awesome, man. Thank you so much, man. You're the greatest. Oh, uh, you too, bro. Right back at you.